Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad and today we are going to start another video which is related to SQL Server 2019 and today we will install SQL Server 2019 on Windows Server 2019 machine. So the guys who didn't saw my uh, previous videos like sorry how to install uh, Server 2019 and how to inst uh, install a domain controller on that they can go on the list there's two previous videos they can uh, go through that and then come here it's okay if you haven't seen this is the first video of the series of uh, sql 2019 we are going to install uh, 2019 sql server and we will go step by step first you have to go on the microsoft website and download 2019 there is an evaluation version I have already downloaded and that version I have already uploaded to my data stores uh, if we go in my data stores there is uh, here I can show you that is already I have downloaded and uploaded to my data store so I can mount in my one of the machines so here you go 2019 uh, evaluation edition here is uh, English version ISO so I have downloaded 64 bit so I will use this with our machine <clears throat> so I have installed one 2019 server here and uh, what I did I have uh, given IP address static and I have joined this one to my domain there is not compulsory to join a domain but uh, for uh, the point of um, installing at 2019 but for an infrastructure level there should be a one domain and then you can uh, join that server before installing SQL uh, and to the domain controller and then you can do further hardening and policies uh, on that uh, SQL server that's why so anyway uh, that's not a compulsory so I will go in my virtual machine and I'll mount uh, that iOS to this virtual machine I will right click and edit settings and I will go into the <coughs> drives and i will choose the sql which is uh, 2019 iso image to this machine here we go selected and connected okay so it's completed so i will go on my machine now here i'll go into the this computer you can go there is various way you can go this way you can go this way so here is the SQL already mounted. I will go double click and it will start uh, installation of uh, SQL Server 2019. So this is a valuation version, free version for 180 days. You can use it. Okay. Here is the wizard. I will just go direct to installation. And in the installation, I will start new standalone installation on the server. So it will take little time and then it will uh, give us another wizard to follow uh, the step by step to go to the installation procedure. Just a wait, it's checking the current operations, doing some operations on the server. <coughs> Here we go. So if you have a in production and you have a license and uh, you're going to install definitely you will have a license from Microsoft but we don't have its uh, evaluation for the home use and student purposes or uh, our learning purposes or home lab practice. So you can use uh, evaluation. So I'm, I'm going through this one. I'll go next. Of course, uh, we have to accept the license uh, terms. If you have internet, you can go to check uh, direct uh, uh, updates for this uh, SQL, but we will not use it. Okay, it's asking this one is could not reach to the update service. It's okay. We are not connected to the internet. <coughs> so uh, after little the you know checking this it will give us some steps installation rules 
and feature selections so we will install only a uh, engine here so which we can provide a platform to other applications to install on that so installing the setup file and it's in the progress okay so checking the <clears throat> okay here we go so we'll install our uh, database service engine if you need a replication and other things you required for java python and other things so you can choose that so as of now I, I, we are only required a sql server uh, service engine <clears throat> so i will pass through only that one so that's it so I will go next. So by default, is directory is chosen where your database will store all on C drive, and we will go next. Okay, so instance you can get, change an instance, but uh, and also you can leave it as uh, default. So I'm going to leave it as default. On a one SQL server, you can install multiple instances. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there is uh, some um, server agents and uh, SQL server database engine and browser. These three by default will be installed. So um, if you want to give a uh, domain user, especially you have made a one domain user. So that one you want to like SQL admin. So you want to run that and you don't want to run the default thing, default user. So you can change here. But later on when we will do a SQL hardening, uh, server hardening, then we will use it. So right now I'm good to go next. So here is, uh, we will, uh, he's saying, are you going to start a mix mode or Windows 30 conversion? I will choose a mix mode and it will turn on our SA user uh, of SQL. So we will give a password for SA. Okay. And uh, add current user as well for our domain controller administrator also. And this one also will go next. So here is the full summary and it's ready to go for installation. So we'll click install. Okay, so this one will take a little time. So I will pause the video and when it's completed, I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm back and our uh, 2019 uh, SQL server has been completed successfully installation has been completed success successfully so we can see uh, it's installed database engine sql browser writer and uh, connectivity sdk and uh, uh, client uh, connectivity i will click close and close this one and we can see if we type uh, sql configuration here sql so you should find here We can see here as well. So here is the SQL Server 2019. I will click on that. There is two things now. Uh, it has installed SQL Server uh, services, which is this one. And by default, uh, this one is running. And it have installed a SQL Browser and Agent, which by default are not running. 
and we'll see if if we see the protocol this run on here yeah, the three protocols which is by default two is uh, shared memory and tcp is enabled and name pipe is disabled so the port is one one uh, if we see 1433 by default port the sql server is working on that and we are going to change it when we are going to do a sql hardening so one this thing and the, if you see the services it has already in the services uh, my windows we can see It's slow on this because I given a, a you know if we go here okay administrator tool secure service is not working from there so you can open here services in administrator tools so here you go one is sql server is installed here if you see this one is running and uh, some of the other features browsers and agents also installed but by default only and it's running with windows nt so we will change this one with the domain controller um, uh, username also when we'll do the hardening. okay so this was the video related to installation of two, a sql server 2019 so in the next video we will start how we can connect this uh, server with the sql management studio so till now take care bye bye